Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Dassault Aviation revealed its financial performance on March 6, 2024, showcasing sustained growth throughout 2023. With ambitions set for the end of 2024, Dassault Aviation is poised to achieve a production rate of three Rafale jets per month, a step up from the previous rate of two per month. This projection can further escalate to four Rafale jets monthly, contingent upon the influx of Rafale orders. Nonetheless, the company grapples with supply chain hurdles amidst escalating demands for Rafales and Falcons. Following meticulous audit procedures, Dassault Aviation spotlighted a burgeoning order book, predominantly fueled by the commercial triumphs of the Rafale jet and Falcon business aircraft. As of December 31, 2023, the order book amounted to 38.5 billion euros. A significant boost came in January 2024 with the ratification of an Indonesian contract for an additional 18 Rafale jets, tallying the total Rafale orders since program inception to 495 aircraft. However, the aviation sector's recovery, still marred by the pandemic supply chain disruptions, faces subcontractor challenges and aerostructural capacity shortages, causing production delays for Dassault. Despite relying on a national supply chain for the Rafale, the company has initiated a comprehensive plan to alleviate these risks, including support for struggling subcontractors and leveraging its Indian Make in India strategy. While Dassault aspired to manufacture 15 Rafales, only 13 were completed. The scheduled deliveries between 2026 and 2033 imply a pace of nearly 24 aircraft annually. Today, the Rafale emerges as a viable option for nations reluctant to engage with the political and economic implications of procuring American and Russian aircraft like the F-35, F-16, and Su-35. This partially explains the Rafale's traction in India and several Middle Eastern countries. Yet, Rafale customers contend with reliance on a single country whose defense industrial base grapples with supplying Ukraine and replenishing the French military. Moreover, Dassault Aviation's financial results for the year portrayed a mixed outlook. While the group's revenue hit 4.8 billion euros, with an all-time high adjusted net result of 886 million euros, the company fell short of delivery targets due to Falcon 6X delayed service entry and other supply chain woes. The civil sector witnessed a dip in Falcon orders compared to the preceding year, reflecting market volatility amidst global economic uncertainties. Nevertheless, the military sector remained resilient, buoyed by a notable surge in Defense France sales, underscoring the strategic significance of Dassault's Rafale and Falcon programs globally. Looking ahead, the company anticipates revenue growth in 2024, fueled by strategic efforts to tackle supply chain obstacles, ramp up production, and uphold its competitive stance in defense and civil aviation markets. That's all for now. See you later.